Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna share a very, very cheap red loadout that I created. I was gonna make a cheap red loadout with a knife, but just recently all the prices for skins and knives have just been skyrocketing. And all these knives I, you know, I used to know that were like 60 bucks are now like 80. So I was like, I eh, can't really do that. But I did find this loadout that I think is really unique and it's under $40. It came out to be around $36, you know, in American currency. So we're gonna round it down. We're gonna use our math skills that we learned in math class and take that number to a more clickbait $35. So starting off for our AK-47, we're gonna choose the Orbit MK-01 in field tested condition. This is gonna total about $8.71 in American currency. I will have all currencies up uh, on the screen while well, all being euros, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, and pounds. So this is actually the most expensive skin on the entire list, but there's not a lot of cheap AK skins. So I decided we go with this one. It looks really solid. Not too many people use it. So you're also sticking out and being a little unique. I like the whole red and black pattern. And I also kind of like that futuristic robot-y kind of style that it has. Pretty nice. It is definitely a very good AK skin. Next up, we have the M4A4 converter in field tested condition, which is gonna run us about $1.79. You know, not too much to say about this. It's cheap, it's a nice, red skin yeah we could have went for some other options and if you guys actually do like the a1s i'm sorry i'm just not really that big of a fan i like the a4 a little bit more personally yeah i like that whole black uh what are those hexagons like the black and red i think those are hexagons uh i don't know it's a six Side okay, dude. I, I really don't know. I know you guys are already, you know, trolling me in the comments, but yeah, either way, it's black and red. It's kind of like our AK, and I like it. Not too much to say. And next for our AUG, we are gonna go with the radiation hazard in field tested condition. This is actually very cheap, and it's gonna run us about 61 whole pennies. You know, I actually like this skin, and that's a good thing because this is like our only option if we're trying to go for a red AUG within this price range. So, you know, if you had all the money in the world to spend obviously go get yourself a hot rod just like if you have all the money in the world go get better options for all these oh i actually really like this next skin so for our from moss we are going to be going with the field tested sticks this is very cheap about a dollar and 39 cents so you know it's a little bit more expensive than our aug and stuff like that but still very cheap for a very, very nice looking Vamos skin. I used to actually really like that skin and used it even when I had an expensive inventory. Then I think I picked somebody's roll cage up. Like I liked the skin before, but then just, you know, really fell in love with the roll cage. So I think the roll cage is probably my favorite red skin, but the sticks is up there. Now, this is a newer skin. Yeah, it's a few months old, I get it, but it's still a newer skin. So for the Galil, we're gonna be going with the Signal. And I actually, Man, I kind of fuck with this skin. It's kind of hard. So we're gonna get this in field tested condition, which is only gonna cost us about 58 cents. This is technically red. It might be a reddish pink or a pinkish red, whatever you wanna call it, but it's pretty damn beautiful, man. I, I really like this. Yes, there are some other red Galil skins for the low, for the cheap, por la bajo, but I don't know. I like this skin and maybe that's just cause it's refreshing and all the other ones I've had a million times for the SG553. We're gonna be going with the fallout warning in minimal wear condition, only running us about 29 cents. Why'd I say it like that? Kind of like our AUG. It's, you know, it's like our only choice as far as a cheap, red-ish skin nonetheless it looks pretty cool and you know i'm a big fan of the cash collection in general so you know what i like it i like it i don't really use this gun a lot i don't really use the aug a lot but i should because you know that's like the new meta right i mean i'm just now getting back into csgo so my throat is so dry all right i think we're good Nope. For the SSG, we are going to be going with the slashed in field tested condition, which is going to cost about 66 pennies. Now, this is like, once again, our only option and it's orange. So it's not even red, but literally there's like nothing else. So can you even hate? For the SCAR 20, we are going to be going with the crimson web in minimal wear condition, which is about 84 cents. You know, this is red as red gets. This is a beautiful trademark red skin. And in minimal wear, it doesn't look bad. Trust me. It looks really good. I'm a big fan of the Crimson Web skins in general, so I had to throw this on this list. For the G3, we're gonna be going with the Executioner in field tested condition, which is gonna cost about $1.96. This is actually pretty expensive to be spending on a gun like this. Either way, it is a beautiful skin, and I think everybody, if they are a good 
and have like a good skin collector. I don't know what I was gonna say there. And have a nice inventory. They should always have one of these things. I, I, I love them. I think they look super, super sick. They have red on them too. So they fit the criteria of our list. Really, this is a good skin. For the last gun in the rifles category, we are gonna be going with the Op Acheron. In field tested condition, which is only gonna cost about $3.18. Now, there are some other contenders. It's just, let's have a unique inventory people to make, you know, I don't know, to be unique. So yeah, you could spend the extra dollars, get yourself a nice red line. But how many other people have a red line, huh? Hmm. There is some red and some blue on this skin as well. So really, you could throw this in a blue loadout or red loadout. It's pretty even as far as that. The actual design itself is actually super sick. There are some skulls with nuclear signs on them. And I don't know, it looks really, really cool. It does not look like a very cheap op skin. I'll tell you that much. It looks very, very sick. Next up, for the MAC-10, we're going to be going with the Tatter in minimal wear condition, which is only going to run us about 89 whole pennies. Not too much to say about the skin. It's kind of like our AK skin. Next up for the MP5, we are going to be going with the Lab Rats in Souvenir Factory New. It's only about 30 cents and it has some amount of red on it. There's not really any MP5 skin with a large amount of red. So we're going to let this one slide. It has a decent amount of red though. Now this skin is pink and orange, but there's really no options for us broke boys out here. So uh, we are going to be going with the MP9 Ruben Poisey. Poisey? the fuck am i saying i'm sorry guys i'm a little bit tired ruby poison dart in minimal wear condition which is only gonna run us about 62 cents you know it's a nice skin but it's not really you know it's not really red so shit next up for the pp bison we have to get this skin bro we have to get it it's pretty expensive you know it's a lot of money to drop on a fucking pp bison i need to stop cursing bro this is gonna get demonetized not like I care, but you know. But in field tested condition, this is only gonna run, ah, I shouldn't say that. It is gonna run us $2.70. I was gonna say only, but you know, for a $35 loadout, this is a pretty big percentage to spend on a gun that you're barely ever gonna use. I mean, I use it. So um, if anybody took to a fence, you know, just don't. I love the skin. I love this gun. This is another slightly expensive SMG, but we are gonna be going with the shallow grave and field tested for our, I can't speak, bro. I sound like a pirate. Arr, I'm finna fuck your bitch in the ass. For our P90, this is almost $2. It's $1.92. So once again, kind of expensive, but it has some pink-ish red on there and there's not really any other cheap options for us. Actually, our loadout is literally about $35. I just accidentally realized I put on the wrong number for this next skin. But for the next skin, we are gonna be going with the Moonrise in field tested condition for the UMP 45. Now this also is a purple slash pinkish red, but there's literally like no cheap red-ish UMP options. There's really barely any red UMP skins anyway. But I had this listed for a dollar and 10 cents when it's actually 54 cents. I accidentally placed the minimal wear price for the field tested, but this is a very, very cool skin. I like it a lot. I wouldn't really say it belongs in a red loadout, but out of all the other UMP skins, why not? Plus, I haven't really been seeing this gun in game being used by other people. For the Mag 7, we are gonna be going with the Heaven Guard in minimal wear condition. This is only about 14 cents, so very, very cheap. You know, it's not the best skin in the game, but it has some red on there and it's very cheap. This is a generic choice. Everybody has this on their list, but for the Nova, we are gonna go for the Candy Apple in factory new, only nine cents, very, very cheap. But if you do have some extra change and you don't care, to, you know, not have a pure red skin, go for the Koi or look at the Wild Six. Next up for the Salt Off, we're gonna be going with the full stop in field tested condition. Very cheap, 20 cents. It is a orangish red skin. Looks pretty nice, you know, that camo design to it. It's a pretty solid skin. And if you guys don't actually like the MP5, I forgot to mention this. If you don't like that MP5, you know, you can go with the MP7 full stop. It's the same design as this, but for the MP7, pretty neat. Not much to say though. For the XM, we are going to be going with the Heaven Guard as well. Same skin as our Mag 7. You know, it's going to get the job done. There's a lot more red on this version of the skin. I like it. 
but the only thing is it's kind of expensive for an XM. For the minimal wear version, it's about 93 cents, which is pretty expensive for an XM. But besides that, it's a pretty nice skin and you know, it fits our list. Next up on our list, we have the M249 System Lock in minimal wear condition. Very, very red skin and it's cheap at only 17 cents. Not too much to say about it. Not too many people even use the M249, but if you do use it, you have a very nice red skin. Then following for the other LMG, we have the Negev Loudmouth Field Tested. I have put this in so many loadout videos and it's just a very nice cheap skin. Not really red, you know, it's more on that yellowy side, but you know, when there's not really any red skins, we have to let something you know, slide. And it's only about 30 cents, so very cheap. For the USPS, we are gonna be going with the Czech Engine in minimal wear, which is gonna run us about $2.20. So it's pretty expensive for our pistols, but most of the USPS skins are pretty expensive. But it looks very nice. Once again, don't roast me. Yeah, it has one of those shape patterns that I don't know the technical mathematic name of. It's very, very, very red. And uh, it does have some wear to it. So keep in mind, even minimal wear is probably going to look field tested. Then next up for the CZ, I chose the CZ over the um, other options like the 5.7 or the Tech 9 because this is a universal pistol. You could have it on CT or T, but for the CZ, we are gonna be going with the Red Astro Field Tested, which is about 36 cents. Very red skin. Yeah, you could go with the Crimson Web as well. It's personal preference, but I like the Astro. It has a very, very, very clean design to it. And I just love how bright it's red is, you know, with the CZ Crimson Web, it's pretty bright, but I don't think it's on that level. That's just me, that's a personal, Opinion. For the dual Berettas, we are gonna be going with the Panthers in minimal wear. Just another black and red skin. It's pretty expensive though, at 57 cents for a dual Beretta skin. And you're probably barely gonna be using that pistol. For the Desert Eagle, we are gonna be going with the Crimson Web in field tested condition. I really like the Desert Eagle Crimson Web. It's a clean skin, maybe not so clean on field tested, but it's gonna get the job done. And yes, it is $3, a little pricey, but Everybody uses the Desert Eagle. Next up, this is a basic ass bitch pick, but um, we are gonna be going with the Glock Candy Apple in minimal wear. This is a 36 cent skin, so it's very, very cheap, but it, you know, everybody, everybody uses this. If there's one gun or one skin that I can pick saying this is not unique, you know, it doesn't fit the title as far as being unique, it is the Candy Apple skins for the Nova and the Glock 18. They are nice skins, but I'm saying pretty much everybody has one. And lastly, for the P250, we are gonna be going with the Nevermore in minimal wear, and it's about 73 cents. This and the Vino Primo are slowly becoming one of my favorite P250 skins. The Nevermore has this beautiful orangish red pattern on it, and Ooh, it just looks straight out of a comic book. It is beautiful. I just love this skin. There's so many skins that I'm looking at while trying to, you know, find a list for this video, trying to craft an inventory. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to get these skins right away. Oh, yo, honestly, I'm sorry if I sounded exhausted, but I've been recording for the past like hour and 20 minutes and it is hot in my room. Thank God though, because I really hate the winter. So I'm so happy that it's coming. And uh, well, we are already in spring and I love spring because everything kind of just comes back to life. Like my channel, speaking of which, uh, I am back. So I don't really want to go into why or anything, but if you haven't seen my last video that I was talking about in my intro, it'll be in the description down below if you guys do want to talk about it. It's kind of personal, but I did explain everything in the community post but my mind changes like 200 times a day and I act on impulse. So you can only imagine how much my mind changes and my plans and everything. So, whew. but I do have plenty of Cisco skin videos stacked up right now. So I'm gonna try and get them out. And I still have some videos that I'm editing for my second channel. So no, I didn't just quit that and change my mind a trillion times, but I'm back. I'm back. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy this video and all the CSGO loadout videos take a ton of work, literally just with making the list. Then, you know, whoa, if I'm gonna do all the currencies, like list how much everything is in every currency, ooh, that, that adds an hour or two to it. So if you guys did enjoy or appreciate the work, please like, subscribe with notifications on, comment and share. Those help with the YouTube algorithm and help a creator out more than donating money, seriously. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoy your day. And yeah, seriously, live your life how you want. Peace, peace.